Okay. This video is going to show you guys how you can get uh, panning, which is basically sending uh, the music from the right to the left headphone or speakers when you're in an audience. Um, I think that, like, yeah, so far all we have is just left and right panning, like varying degrees. We can go 100% right or 50% right or in the middle or 50% left or 100% left. But I really hope that someday... I don't want to give, well, I do want to say it, but like we should make a, a dome, like a sound dome where the speakers are like 180 degrees or like half of a sphere, you know? So um, you can pan essentially left and right, but you could also pan up and down. Uh, when you have headphones on, you can't really hear the up and down, but you can hear the left and right. So I really hope that like someday we figure out how to pan up and down too. So if we had the super spacey club that was like a half dome, we can have the sound travel uh, in like spherical motions. We could have it travel up and have it travel down and stuff like that. So that's like futuristic kind of panning. But right now, all we have is left and right. So let's get into this. I have a beat that I kind of just constructed. It's very simple. I'm going to add to it and work on it as the video progresses and moves on. But um, this is what it is. And I'm going to start adding some panning to this sound in here. All right. Just some like goofy ass electronic beat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to come into this part here. So you can just left click on this pattern or right click and hit piano roll on percussion. All right. And then down here, you're going to want to um, so here are your notes, all right? There's a G sharp, there's an F sharp, there's a D sharp, a C and a B. I don't know if they're in key. Um, if they are, yeah. No, this, I don't know what key this falls into. But they're drums, so you really, really can't tell. But if you want to get super fucking technical, you got to have your drums in key. But, um, so you come down here to right click, and you right click right down here, and you do note pan. All right, there's also note velocity, note release, note fine pitch, and controlling panning. You can control the panning, which is a more kind of linear way to do it. Um, but note pan is the best way. So this first note, I'm going to keep it in the middle. This next note, I'm going to move it up. I think that goes to the left. It might be the right, but one or the other. And then so they're just they're panning these notes. All right, so these notes are going to bounce back and forth. So when you have headphones on, you're going to hear the, you're going to hear these notes kind of bounce. And then the last one, I'm going to keep a little bit in the middle. All right. So now when you play, you can hear it. If you if you have headphones on, you have speakers, you can hear it. If you're on a laptop, you can't hear it really, but you can hear it moving. So that note, it gives it the kind of like futuristic, um, spacey, kind of like trippy sound where it's, oh crap, the sound's moving back and forth all right so that's that you can move this note as well so i'm going to pan this note like over here and this is how you make drums sound more full it gives it more room in the mix but it also gives it kind of like some futuristic uh trippy kind of psychedelic sound now nah, like not psychedelic but just you know like trippy just new sounding so now a bunch of the drums are moving around you can do the kick as well so these are all this this kick is going to be different than the next kick and then i'm going to flip it on these kicks so on this kick it's going to be over here and this kick's going to be here so now you have a more complex drum beat um, with panning involved mostly on this percussion right in the middle so i'm going to go ahead and drop this off into the mix into the playlist so now that beat's going through the playlist all right and i'm going to do this same thing to a melody so I'm going to make a new pattern. I usually just insert patterns, but you can, it's probably a bad practice to insert. Um, scroll up to a new pattern and then insert a synth. So I'm going to go to Harmer. I wish I had my 8-bit one. I got to I gotta download that again. But, okay, so I'm going to use the, I've just been using this in videos a lot, so I'm going to use this one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna play that over. It might sound kind of cool, but I don't. It's kind of like a contrast to the beat sound. 
So I'm going to bring this in. Um, I'm going to make a melody real quick. So there's a melody. I think the last note was off a bit, but you can quantize. So when you're doing MIDI recordings, make sure you always quantize. So this, this note right here is a little bit off. So do a quantize. Bam. Now you can move it in. So that's lined up, lined up, lined up. That needs to come to there. Okay. So you can do the same thing. You can, you can pan these notes now. So the first note, this like root note, I guess, that's kind of like holding down the very, it's going through the entire measure. Um, you can keep that in the middle. Okay, but I'll show you what it sounds like right now. Sorry, I got a little vibe in there. I want to like really just not make videos and produce. <laughs> Anyway, so that's what it sounds like. Everything's right in the middle. Um, the drum beat is still panning, but now you want to add a little bit extra to this melody, this bass line that you just wrote. So you're going to come in and pan these things now. Um, you don't want to get too crazy unless you want to pull some Hudson Mohawk, Lucky Me kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it's, all, it's an art, so you can do whatever you want. If you want to make it crazy, make it crazy. I have a song where like the drum beat is literally the kick drums are panning. All right, so the kick drum is like going back and forth and it's, it's, it's crazy. People like it though. It's one of my better songs. It's called The Legend of 144 if you want to listen to it. It's like an 8-bit electronic video game song. Anyway, so these notes are panning now a little bit, uh, like halfway. So when you listen to it now, you're going to notice that these second and third note in the measure is going to kind of move on your headphones or speakers. <laughs> So that's that. I'm going to add one more little element to the song because I like it. I'm going to actually save this and uh, I'm going to save this and actually work on it. If you want to hear this song and when it's done, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Well, let's make something up right now. Let's call this. It's called this YouTube Homies. YouTube Homies. Okay. So this is going out to you guys. And it's called YouTube Homies. All right. So um, that's saved. I'm going to work on this one later on. I have a few projects that I'm working on, but there's another one. I'm going to add another element that I'm going to pan. And let's go ahead and use some kind of hmm. uh, maybe yeah that'll work I'll just give it a shot real quick so I'm gonna insert another one and we're gonna insert another melody okay so we're gonna play another melody it might come into like, I'm gonna open up some tracks here. Okay. There it is. Um, and now there's a little more crazy, kind of like, you know, going fast. Um, I'm gonna make sure these ones are quantized, but the other ones I'm gonna keep the human error because it gives it like a real touch. But these things I'm gonna make sure I quantize them. So I'm gonna make sure I have this and keep that there. And this one, make sure I quantize it. So these bottom two here, I'm gonna quantize these. Bring it back to that. And should be good to go. Just gotta fix this. There. Okay. 
So this is what it sounds like. Now, this one, you can make it kind of cool because they're fast. So since they're fast, you can come in and really kind of like trip the listener out. So the listener is going to be hearing this, and this is going to be going back and forth like that. So when you hear that, it kind of whew, goes fast, all right, in a, in a quick way. So this is very cool, I think. Um, this is kind of like part of the new a new sound that us nerds, I guess, computer producers are working on. Um, so you just got to come through one by one and just pan these suckers. Takes a little while. But it's going to be worth it. It's going to add a nice element. So then, there you go. All right. You can kind of change it, though. Um, so it's not the same. It's not like a uniform panning process. It's kind of like, kind of like that. And this one. So this note, I'm going to bring down, and then that there, and that there. So you just got to get creative, make it kind of unique, and there you go. So now it's just moving around. If you have headphones on, you'll hear it kind of going back and forth. The last one's cool. It slows down, too. All right. So there's a quick type of panning. All right, and with the drum beat... And with the bass line. So it sounds mostly, it sounds the best with just the, uh, if you take the bass line out. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta play with it. That's the mixing process and everything. But you know, or I guess that's the I don't know. That's just making the song. But so there's um panning effect on like a higher kind of uh, what is that tech chord, and then there's a panning effect on the percussion in the drum. So that's a cool tip there. <laughs> Okay, um, you can also pan using this knob here, but the problem with that is that's going to affect the entire measure of notes. It's not going to be able to dig in and move the notes one by one. So you want to come in and left click on these notes after they're recorded or drawn out, or right click and go to piano roll. And you really want to do the panning in here. So make sure you do all your panning in here so you can, you can add panning to specific notes in the measure. Okay. So right in here. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and everything. Uh, su subscribe and stay tuned for some new videos.